When I tell you this fan feels like AC on the face. It'll take you two seconds. Come give me a hug. Ethereal? Ethereal. Okay, no. The skin is coming together. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Griselda. As you can see by the title of this video, today we are going to be going over my updated skin foundation, complexion, whatever you want to call it, routine, where I show you all of the new products that I have really been loving, products that I said that I would never use that are going to shock you because you're going to look at me like, wait, you said you never use that product. So if you are oily, this video is going to be for you you without further ado if you want to see how to get a skin like finish flawless skin like finish then keep on watching we are going to start off with the face because I already did my eyes Let me just take a minute for these lashes though these are the style Gemini by birdie lashes you know a Gemini for a Gemini see what I did there they have been my go-to lashes because I just am so obsessed they're so beautiful I love how flared they are towards the end and then they are like I don't know I feel like they just fit perfectly all right let's go ahead and get started we are going to start off by applying this Charlotte magic cream light it's a lightweight miracle moisturizer when I tell you it is worth every single penny you guys need to get this moisturizer in your life because it's not super thick it's literally lightweight the first thing that I always like to apply is this Charlotte Tilbury magic cream light it's a lightweight miracle moisturizer and when they say it's lightweight it is so lightweight I literally do one pump that's all you need it's really hydrating but super lightweight at the same time and because i'm more on the oily side i don't like to use anything that's super thick and this just feels hydrating but it doesn't feel like you have anything on the skin if that makes sense going in with my refi face primer squeeze a little bit and then roll i used to stay away from like glowy primers and stuff like that but i'm gonna show you guys how to still give you like that really natural glowy matte finish without having to stay away from like super glowy primers or products because I used to be that one that I was like I'm not gonna put anything glowy on my skin because I'm super super oily I've just really learned how to work around that so now that we've got the primer all locked into the skin Okay, so this is a very crucial step. This is something that you want to do if you are super, super oily. I am oily in my T-zone and pretty normal everywhere else. So this is going to help you just stay matte throughout the whole entire day. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. brush. This is the Flawless Face Brush. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the translucent powder. Press it on to the cap. We're going to tap this out because I don't want a lot of powder on the brush. I just want a little bit, and then we are going to press it on to the skin. And this is going to mattify your skin, but you can see the skin still looking hydrated. It doesn't look dry or super matte. Unless you want that, then you can add a little bit more, or you can skip the glow primer. And my main focus is going to be the areas that I'm super oily, which is like my cheek area, my nose, my forehead, and also my chin area. As of lately, I have been really loving my skin shooting through the foundation. I don't like that full coverage. I don't know what has come over me, but that's what I've been really into right now. I'm gonna go in with my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan by Tarte. And I like to just go into those areas where I just need a little bit more coverage and go over like the blemishes. I need it down here because I have been breaking out so bad. I don't know what's been going on, but it's been non-stop like this area i know it's hormonal but it's it's bad i got these sponges from amazon everybody has been raving about them on tiktok 
And the first time that I tried it, I didn't really like it, but I tried it again and I really, really liked it. <laughs> um, they're the Pow Pow uh, Wonder Blenders. I think they were like, I don't even know. I think they were less than 10 bucks. So I just go in and blend out the concealer. I've actually used this concealer as foundation and it leaves the skin so beautiful. I think they have a foundation that's similar to like the Shape Tape concealer, but I'm not 100% sure. I just have to add a little bit down here. You see how I just already evened out my skin? This week has been one of the craziest weeks that I've had in such a long time that I was like, am I gonna be able to like film a video to go up on Monday? But here we are. So I usually do this when I'm gonna go run errands, add a little bronzer just to kind of warm up my skin and maybe a little blush and like mascara and then I call it a day. But when I do want a little bit more coverage, I do go in with a foundation. And if you've been following me for a while or have been subscribed to my channel for a while, I've always used liquid foundations. I really try to stay away from anything cream and I've said this like so many times because I am oily but using these techniques have really made me fall in love with using like cream products because I feel like it looks more natural easier to blend and just leaves the skin super super flawless I talked about this foundation um, in my last video this is the HD all-in-one face palette I am obsessed with this so much because like I said it literally has everything your highlight your foundation your contour your color corrector your blush and even it has like a um, highlighter like to it's like a shimmery one I switch between that one and the Patrick Ta this is the cream foundation and finishing powder duo this when I tell you you need to get this foundation it is so good I've already hit pen like I use it all the time because it just gives you such a beautiful finish so we're going to use this one and then also going to use the HD palette to highlight and contour because I just love both of them we're gonna go in with this Alamar bronzing brush but I like to use it for foundation because it's dense but fluffy enough where it's not gonna pack on the foundation it's going to give you like a seamless like seamless finish and when I tell you this foundation matches me to the T, look at this. It is so beautiful. Patrick Ta really outdid himself with this foundation because it is just my go-to. If you want like a foundation that's going to make your skin look flawless, you need to run to Sephora and buy this foundation. I like to just pack it on. I'm not gonna lie, I was struggling today trying to get in front of this camera because I had such a long week. It was my sister's birthday. It was one of my other friend Trend Mood's birthday. I had events back to back. I had to, you know, be a mom. It was just so freaking much. I took like a two hour nap and I that obviously didn't help me because I was, it made me more sleepy. It was just bad. But we're here and we're getting this video done. Now using my HD palette, we're gonna mix these two colors together to create the contour color. I'm gonna be using this OG 239 brush by MAC. Literally just pick a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We're just gonna sculpt that out. And I like to go a little bit above just to kind of give me that like lifted look. And then we're just gonna do around the perimeter. And then I've also learned not to, to like chisel my cheek. What I like to do is I like to bring it a little higher and then kind of like fill that in, you know, to give you that sucked in look. And for my nose, I haven't really been contouring my nose all the way up I kind of do it midway and then create the little round button nose like that and then sometimes when you laugh your nose kind of flares up so the trick to that is just putting a little bit of that darker color here and then it just kind of like pinches in the nose a little bit concealer I really have been loving this point this way ethereal light 
It's an illuminating smoothing concealer. It's been my go-to just because it's not super thick and it brightens and it smooths and it does all these amazing things underneath the eyes. I use a shade pecan and I literally just apply it right in the inner part. And you can actually apply a generous amount of this concealer and it's going to be light coverage still which is the reason why I really like it. I also like to use a little bit of a cream highlight, so I go in with this shade. And when I tell you it's like the smallest amount, it's the smallest amount. And I like to just place it like right under here just to kind of brighten just a little bit. Moving on to blush, we're gonna mix these two right here from the HD palette. And then we are gonna put it right in between the highlight and the contour. And this is going to make the cheekbones like really pop. Before we blend out anything, I'm going to go in with my Caudalie. This is the Beauty Elixir. And when I tell you this is going to be the game changer in your makeup routine, it has to be the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is going to change the way that your skin looks. And I just do a generous amount. I'm going to go in with this Smashbox Angle Powder Brush. And I always like to start off with the contour. Pat that in. I'm going in more like a pressing motion just to press it into the skin. Kind of work it into the hairline. And when it comes to the jawline, I kind of buff it upwards. And I'm using like the flat part of the brush. And I don't know if you guys can see, but you guys can still see my skin through the contour, the blush, the foundation. Doing this technique really has changed the way that my foundation looks in person and photos. Moving on to the nose. I'm going to just blend the nose contour out, but also whatever extra I have, I kind of push it upwards. I just find that when I bring the contour all the way up here, just because of the way my nose is shaped and my eyes, it kind of makes me look like I'm a little cockeyed. <laughs> Lately, I just stop the contour there and whatever extra I have, I kind of like bring it up. Now I can go in and blend out my concealer. And I'm going in with that same sponge. And I really love how sheer the concealer is because when you go and set it, it doesn't crease. Do you guys see the difference? It's super light. It doesn't look heavy. It looks bright. And once I set it, you guys are going to see how seamless it looks underneath. And I started using a different powder for underneath my eyes, which I will share in a second. And it really gives me like that smooth baby's bottom look underneath the eyes. Also, the sponge, I really have been obsessed with it. One of, um, I forgot who told me about this sponge. It was somebody on TikTok. And I do like to go in with the blush one more time just to kind of bring that color back. And I bring it a little higher than normal, like kind of into my concealer. And then just go back in with the sponge and blend out any of the edges. Okay, so now we're going to move on to setting the eyes. And I can't believe that I have slept on this. It has changed the way that I set my under eyes. So I go in with the Artist Couture Creme Brulee Multi-Use Beauty Powder. And I'm using the Makeup Forever 140 Wavy Brush. Love this brush for underneath the eyes. And I literally pack on that powder. But you always got to make sure that your under eyes are not creasing at all. So you go in with a sponge or a beauty blender to make sure you kind of smooth out your under eye. And then I go in with the setting powder and I go in and press. I like really press it in. I also like to set the blush, the bronzer. Do you see this? I actually was using this powder before just to kind of like touch up. I never really thought about using it underneath the eyes to kind of like set. And then I think one of the other days I was just trying to like play with makeup and see what works, what didn't. And I was like, hey, let me try this and like set underneath my eyes and here we are. Moving on to setting the whole face, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. It's a setting powder and I use the shade 153. I'm going to use my dual brush by Hourglass. This one doesn't have a number, 
but it's just, it looks like this. And then I press it in. You don't want to buff, you want to press to kind of secure the foundation. Make sure that nothing moves. When you are too lazy to go get a brush, you just use a spoolie. Okay, now that we've set the foundation, we are going to go in with a bronzer using that same brush, but we're just going to flip it over. We're going to be using the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpting Trio in the shade Light Trio. This right here, you have to be very light-handed because these bronzers are extremely, 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 extremely pigmented. So I like to kind of just go and do like a little swirl with all of the three shades. I always like to start by pressing it in and then I go in and buff. And I'm really light-handed. Like I'm barely touching my skin because that's how pigmented these bronzers are. I feel like when a makeup artist creates a product, they really know what they're doing because it's like they create what's lacking in the makeup world. And sometimes I feel like there are some bronzers that are great, but they're not as pigmented. You kind of have to build it. And with this, listen, you do not. The same thing goes with his blushes. Like his blushes are just as pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. I go ahead and flip that over and then just buff it out just around the edges and again I'm, I'm barely touching my skin. Now we're gonna go ahead and bake underneath the eyes. You guys thought I was gonna forget that. No, I never forget to bake, especially because I'm oily. I go ahead and mix Honey and Translucent by Laura Mercier. I grab a generous amount and I press it in. And the sponge is still pretty damp, so I feel like that is the key to making sure that it doesn't look cakey. And I really press it into the skin. Let's not forget the forehead because that's the first thing that always gets extremely oily. Now I go in with my blush. And I use that same brush that I used for my bronzer. And I'm going to go in with my Benefit Sunny Blush. This has been very much loved. I really love this blush because it is just the perfect tone of peach. And it's not, it has like a tone of pink at the same time. It's kind of weird. When I apply it, you'll see. Do you guys see what this looks like? So what I like to do is I like to press it into the skin. And I feel like because I have the translucent powder, it's not going to make it patchy. And because I've already set and really like buffed everything in, it's going to look very smooth. And then I go in and I buff. Do you see what I am seeing? The skin is coming together. I usually like to leave my setting powder on for like like five minutes the other day I left it on for like 40 minutes because I had to go pick up Anthony from school and I literally left my house with my translucent powder underneath thankfully nobody saw because it was dark I don't recommend to leave it on for like 40 minutes but like five ten minutes you know you can go and do stuff around the house if you need to I'm gonna pick up that same brush this is the makeup forever 140 wavy brush and instead of dusting it off, I'm going to press it into the skin. And then we're going to do the same thing underneath the eyes. We are going to press, press, press. And when we come around the nose area, I like to buff it upwards. This is another step that I feel like has also been really working for me. So after I go in with my Caudalie, I quickly go in after with my All Nighter. It kind of seals everything together. I don't even let it dry and then I have my fan that I have been taking everywhere with me and I put it like max to like really dry it I will link this fan down below because when I tell you this has changed my life it is so good okay so now that we are completely done with all of the steps I know there were a lot, but when I tell you, it'll be worth it in the end. As you can see, my skin is still shooting through. It doesn't look cakey. And I find that because I added all of these extra steps, when I am going out and I do get oily, my skin doesn't look cakey. 
it looks really just glowy it doesn't look like I'm oily if that makes sense we removed more product but added a little bit more steps which I know sometimes you don't have time to do but if you do try this and let me know what you think if you've already been doing it and I've been sleeping on this then let me also know in the comments down below but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know any other suggestions in the comments down below and you guys will be also getting a vlog tomorrow which i'm really excited for you guys to come and experience the week with me and i will see you guys tomorrow on my vlog if not then i will see you guys in my next tutorial